Diocese of Little Rock agreed to a settlement with five men who claimed they were sexually abused by a priest. Care Care Force Caitlin Reardon sat down with two of the victims today who were sharing their experiences in the hopes of getting other victims to come forward. Caitlin. Bob, obviously sexual abuse of a child is a very painful thing for these victims to talk about even decades later. Now, in the interview, we disguised the voice and identity of one of those victims to protect his anonymity, and another chose to recall what happened to him through a statement, both hoping to help others and work toward changing the statute of limitations in Arkansas for this type of abuse. Feeling. And this has gone on for 45 years. This victim, who wishes to remain anonymous, was one of several who, as a boy, endured repeated sexual abuse at the hands of Father John McDaniel. I call that man a Satan. It happened at Our Lady of Holy Souls in Hillcrest in the early 1970s, and he was not alone. Another victim recalling McDaniel telling him he was a horrible, evil kid. No one will ever love him. God hates him. He would never have any friends, and that this was their secret. He pointed at me and told the teacher, don't ever believe anything that boy says or tells you. You cannot trust anything he says. Both were subjected to sexual acts as well. They were never the same after that. Something was permanently um, broken in them. Um, after these experiences. Recently, a settlement was reached where the Diocese of Little Rock agreed to compensate the victims for the child's sex abuse claims. Attorney Josh Gillespie believes for the first time in Arkansas. But while the compensation was significant for the state, it wasn't as it should have been because of the statute of limitations. Until Arkansas changes um, its outdated statute of limitations for child sex abuse claims, the diocese is, is never going to, um, to truly do right by them. Both victims for decades thought they were the only ones. They wanted to share their stories so others would know they aren't alone. He sure made a hell of a mess in my life, but he will not destroy me. Now, Father John McDaniel died in 1974. He was one of at least 12 priests in Arkansas who have had credible sexual abuse allegations made against them in the last 70 years. Both of these victims, however, say they have been able to keep their faith due in part to clergy members who, as one of them describes, are truly men of faith. Bob. All right.